Good morning. Welcome back. It is 649 on Monday. You are looking both at the coast and inland where we are dealing with some haze and some fog this morning. OIA reporting visibility at about a mile and a half, but there are other parts of central Florida where we have even more dense fog. Good morning. I'm Amy Sweezy. Quarter of a mile, in fact, is how far you can see right now in Daytona Beach, a half mile in Deland, a quarter of a mile in Leesburg, less than that in the villages. So a lot of it is right along the I-4 corridor, Volusia County, Seminole, uh, back through Orange, Lake County seeing some of this fog as well. The airport in Melbourne reporting four mile visibility. So something to keep in mind here early this morning. And then once we get going today, we are headed to the upper 70s and we actually have several warm days in store before a cold front comes through Thursday. And that is going to bring us back down into the 60s for highs on Friday. So right now it's a little cool to start off. We've got some 40s to the north, 51 Sanford, 53 Orlando and 53 degrees in Melbourne. A ridge of high pressure has our winds out of the east today, but they're light. So once we get through the morning fog, we'll be partly sunny and then temperatures will climb, but the east winds will keep the coast a few degrees cooler than our inland spots. We'll hit 77 in Dinellon, 78 Leesburg and Astatula and 79 in Claremont, 78 in Lake Mary, 79 in Apopka in Winter Park and 79 in Point Siena. Along the coast, we will be in the low to mid 70s, 73 Edgewater, 75 Titusville and 76 will be our high in Melbourne. Now tomorrow we will start off with some sunshine, kind of like today. We'll have a few clouds building in, but then with our winds coming in out of the south and southwest on Tuesday, once we get into the afternoon, we will see a couple pockets of rain develop. It won't be a lot of locations, but these pockets of rain will start inland and push over toward the east coast as we head through the evening commute. And we may even get an embedded thunderstorm in here. I don't expect any severe weather, but certainly some thunder and lightning is possible inside a few of those storms. So kind of as that moisture builds back in, we're going to be a little bit unsettled here for tomorrow. And then by Wednesday, we'll dry out a little bit, but we still stay warm as our next front approaches. And then once that front moves in, here on Thursday, it will bring a few showers and also bring us some cooler air once we get to Friday. So that's why our highs on Friday will only be in the 60s. Once we get into the uh, morning lows, we will also see our temperatures dropping. In fact, as we head into next weekend, we'll be in the lower 50s on Saturday and then mid 50s on Sunday.